Hi, great 10 students. So in this video, we are going to continue with our cash budget. Okay, so basically this is term force work and this part is going to form part of paper two. So make sure that you watch until the end so that you can be ready when you write your paper two. Okay, so I took one of the previous question paper and uh, let's quickly start. A calculation of budget. Read the information provided below and answer the question that follow okay they said jane jane jasha has been employed by reza uh, textile for um, three years okay it's textile or textility or whatever it's fine okay and they said her annual salary in 2018 amounted to 150,000. after deduction is after deduction you must take note of that she has been planning a beach holiday to thailand in january 2019 and um, the total cost of the holiday including fa accommodation meal and spending 26000 she want to spend 26000 she intend using her annual bonus towards the holiday okay so she's thinking that okay uh, if maybe i add my bonus from what i receive on the salary I can manage uh, this 26,000. Now let's go to question and see if she's going to manage. 4.2.1. Calculate the monthly salary received by Jane after deduction. They said after deduction. Okay. And we already have after deduction of annually of 150. Okay. 4.2.1. 150 guys is for annual. Annual is for the whole year. So in order for, for us to get a monthly, we must divide by 12. And uh, we will get amount of 12,500. Very simple. 4.2.2. Okay. 4.2.2, they said calculate the total income that we receive by Jane in December. Number one, we know that in December, the first one, she has 12,500 of salary. Plus, they said we have to check information number B, which uh, they said that under information number B down there, they said Jane will get a bonus of 13,000 in December. 13,000 must be added, which means that this month she's going to get a. If you add this one and this one, it's going to give you 25,500. By this month, uh, she will be very rich. So, in my language, we said. Yeah, I want to do about Papa. What do about twenty five thousand? It's a lot of money. Okay, so now let's go to four point two point three. Calculate Jane monthly expense. Okay, a monthly expense is is what she usually spend every month. Okay, it's under information number B. Number one. She have a car repayment, a telephone, cell phone, rent, insurance, savings, clothing, water and electricity, entertainment. Entertainment. This one is either something else. Entertainment. Okay. Groceries and petrol. Okay. But for savings, it's a question mark. Not yet sure. We don't know because sometimes, some months, probably she doesn't save. Okay. Uh, let's add all those things. Uh, Four point two point three monthly expense: three thousand one hundred plus two fifty plus three hundred plus two point two. All of them that are there on the table: plus seven hundred uh, plus seven fifty. Imagine doing all these things for three months. Just because they know that it's simple. Okay, 400 plus 1.8 plus 1,200. Uh, all of this is going to give you 11,500. That's all expenses of, a, of each and every month. Okay, the next one they said, calculate the amount of money that Jane will need to save on a monthly basis. Okay, if that's all the expenses, 
which means that what she can save each and every month uh, we have to take 12,500 minus 1, 11,500 which means that she save 1,000 every month but you know emergency anytime you own your pressing your phone uh, Vodacom can send you a SMS and say you left with 20 megabytes. Imagine, obviously you are going to take it from there. So, but they didn't ask that. Let's proceed and see what they are asking. Okay. Will Jane have to save enough money, including her annual bonus, to pay for her holiday in January 2019? Support your answer with calculation. Indicate a shortfall. Or surplus okay let's see uh, number one she have a bonus 4.2.5 number one we know that she have a bonus of 13,000 okay then plus uh, <laughs> we need to calculate a 1,000 multiply by 12 is gonna give us a 12,000 gonna give us 12,000 a 12,000 is when she is saving 1,000 every month and for 12 months it's gonna be 12,000 1,000 multiply by 12 is gonna give us a 12,000 okay so if you add all this uh it's gonna give us 25 it's gonna give us 25 thousand okay 25 thousand okay so this is what she, she is going to have now uh, the question said support your answer uh, with the calculation and we have to indicate whether it's a surplus or deficit is she going to have enough money remember uh, they said that she need 26,000 from that budget she is going to have enough money the answer is very simple no She's not going to have enough, not enough to cover 26,000. So which means that she is going to have a short shortfall of how much? Of 1,000. That's what she is going to, to have. Okay. And uh, the next question, uh, they said Jane intends to spend only 90% of her savings towards the holiday. Okay, from her savings, guys, from the from these savings, which means that we need to, uh, even though the answer is still going to be the same, but here. They said that from this 12,000, she want only uh, to save 90%, which means that it's going to be how much when we calculate 10,800, 10,800, which means that the answer here is going to be 23. 1800 okay in other words like example that i was giving guys that uh, it can happen when you are busy pressing your phone some emergency happen which means that that person 10 percent it could happen that it's for any addition that can happen so she's willing to to to, to save 10,800, not 12 the other one is for other emergency okay which means that the shortfall now is going to be 26,000 minus 
minus 23,800. Then a shortfall will be 2,200. Very simple. Okay. So it's still a shortfall or deficit. She, 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 she must find somewhere where she can get this extra 20, uh, 2,200. And the next one, refer to her monthly expense below. Which two expense could she cut back in order to increase monthly saving? Guys, some expenses are not necessary. She might she, she need to cut them off so that she can reach this amount of 26,000. Which two? Let's check them. 26. Okay. Let's check Eclipse 3. Car repayment. No, that one is a must. Otherwise, they're going to take the car. Telephone. You can't live without a cell phone, guys. Oh, you can't live. If you you can live without a cell phone, why are you watching? Why are you here in Accounting Solution YouTube? If you don't have a cell phone, it was not going to be possible. Okay. Uh, the rent, you can't sleep in the street. Insurance is very important. What if the car got accident? She's, she will be in a debt. Okay. Uh, closing account. Ah, this one, guys. There is a there. These are a, a closing. You can buy once in a year. It you you can survive. So a closing is number one. Closing account. Ah, she must close this one. You can't pay 700 a day every month. You need to cut this, especially for this salary, which is not enough. Water and electricity, you can't stay in dark. Water is very important. You need to drink something. Otherwise, we, we don't want to go to funeral every week. Entertainment. Ah, you can live with, without entertainment, guys. Here, you can find your entertainment. For, is how much? 400. Maybe she's buying for how many... You, no, you can't even buy four. I think you can only buy two, six of savannah. See, so those ones, they are not important. She needed to cut them off. She will drink once in a whole day, in a beach day. Entertainment. Okay. And the, the other one, petrol. Oh, you, you, you can't avoid petrol if you are paying car. You can't pay something that you are not even driving. Okay, grocery is a must. Okay, I think these two they are most uh, important one. But uh, remember, she have a telephone and cell phone. Ah, she need to cut one. You can't have a telephone and cell phone. I think we need to cut telephone. Telephone. Why telephone? Telephone, guys, is for those one that you use at home. But cell phone is this one. This one you can't live without it, right? But telephone, ah, that one you can cut it off. So that's the option that you have. So I hope you learn something, guys. And uh, those who have joined extra class, please come and join. Those who are going to grade 11 next year, on 4 January, we are starting. You can come and pay um, in December or you can pay early January on the 1st. Immediately when we roll open on 4th, start with others. Let's learn a reconciliation of grade 11 and the flow with term 1 so that, guys, you can get good marks like other students uh, who, were, who were performing very, 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 very well on our extra classes. And, guys, also the issue of study guide, make sure that you budget for study guide. A soft copy, guys, these days everything is online. There is no need for you... Uh, there is no need for us to for to 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 print a textbook and sell it for you as a hard copy. That one is going to cost us more. So at least if you can purchase a soft copy by only hundred rand, you can study online, and everything will be fine. Study guide have a question papers, lot of question papers and solution. You are not going to suffer uh, when you when it comes to to question papers and solution, and some of the question. When it comes to exam, you find that, no man, this question, I did it very similar like this. So you must get one. And uh, I hope you enjoy. And uh, to subscribe, guys, it's also important. Some people, they're just watching videos. They don't want to, to subscribe is to follow. And uh, guys, we've been assisting for a very long time. And we deserve more subscribers. So if you don't subscribe, 
no one is going to subscribe no uh, science student or history student will come here and subscribe you are the one the commerce student that need to subscribe